now, the general weather around Alaska. Starting this Thursday segment off again with <clears throat> satellite imagery here, showing a pretty good low pressure area, pretty deep low there with uh, right over Kodiak Island today, starting to move up toward Fognac Island. And so uh, wet conditions there today with areas of snow back up over the southwest interior with lighter amounts extending all the way up to the western the Arctic coast up there with that cloud band. <clears throat> Not too much going on here in the central interior. And this uh, system spinning some light snow in areas here up into the uh, southeast interior and the milder air bringing uh, some freezing rain across south central Alaska earlier today. It's about all ended now and a lot of rain and wind, as you can see, several bands having moved through the southeast coast there, pushing off into Canada. Pretty good break here, right along the central coast, extending southwestward there. And uh, satellite imagery, or tonight's forecast map, <clears throat> cold northerly flow here, continue to bring surges of snow showers southward here, all the way to the Alaska Peninsula. Snow and snow showers, Perbloff Island, some of that into the southwest interior continuing here with this trough along the, the Yukon Delta coast there. And uh, light winds, dry conditions in the central interior. This low slowly weakening here south of the uh, Kenai Peninsula and the trough swinging up uh, keeps it breezy and wet from the North Gulf Coast, rain and snow into Prince William Sound and uh, at least into uh, portions of Turnigan Arm, definitely for Passage Canal with some moisture lingering here over Northeast Bristol Bay unsettled and damp there for the southeast coast out to the west not much going on just a few showers out there with a couple of weak troughs and for friday ridging starts to build here ahead of a next storm there that's just barely getting on the chart over kamchatka peninsula kind of links up with high over russia there and northerly flow on the east side of that feature keeps uh, cold air coming southward with uh, snow and snow showers mostly along the southwest coast into the alaska peninsula and uh, starting to taper off of the Perbaloff Islands there, kind of breezy with snow across the Chukchi Sea to the Bering Strait, Northern Seward Peninsula. Kind of a quiet day over interior Alaska, with this low lifting northward tomorrow into the Kenai Peninsula and continuing to weaken. Uh, that's gonna bring, keep it cloudy and uh, some showers going here from Cook Inlet across the Manuska Valley and periods of uh, light rain or rain and snow for the North Gulf Coast. It'll extend down into the Southeast Coast and some snow working into the Eastern and Northeast interior with that trough there to the Northeast, mostly over Canada. And that becomes a little more extensive over the East side tomorrow night and in towards Saturday here on the East side with several inches of snow falling there. Otherwise, scattered areas of snow showers, light snow showers here for the remainder of the interior. High pressure edging eastward here. Uh, definitely lightens the winds up along the coast, drying it out over the Yukon Delta with maybe some clearing. Diminishing snow showers and wind for the Alaska Peninsula. And dry for south central Alaska now. That's low, dropping off to the southeast here. And uh, leaves it high and dry from the North Gulf Coast and the Copper River Basin. All this snow will be from the Alaska Range northward across the 40 mile country and still some uh, showers but light winds for the southeast coast and out to the west that storm system kind of slides southeastward there tightening the gradient up here over the western and central Aleutians with possible gale force winds late in the day but it looks like the precipitation will stay south of the chain until probably possibly Saturday evening then on Sunday definitely Rain and wind up over all of the Aleutians here, extending eastward to the Fox Islands. Gale force winds on the north side of that front back toward Chimian at two. Otherwise, the northern and central Bering Sea, pretty dry and quiet there. That extends into the interior, high pressure up over the north slope. And we've got a pretty nice day over much of interior Alaska with dry weather, light winds, maybe some clearing in areas, scattered snow showers or flurries of the Copper River Basin, as well as up around the Yukon Flats there. And uh, weak low off the southeast coast keeps a chance of showers in mainly the northern and central areas with drier conditions farther to the east and to the south. And for the lows tonight in the 40s for the Panhandle, 20s and 30s southern Alaska, 10 to 15 in the central interior with uh, single numbers from the Brooks Range out to the Arctic coast, 
Upper 20s for the Pribilofs, mid 30s for the Aleutians, and upper teens for St. Lawrence Island. And the, low, or the highs Friday afternoon, anywhere from 10 to 15 for the uh, Arctic Coast North Slope areas. In the teens in the central interior, mid 20s here to mid 30s. In fact, some cases upper 30s for the Cook Inlet area. And much of the Kenai Peninsula highs tomorrow 35 to 40, 30 to 35 for the Susitna Valley. Upper 20s in the Copper River Basin, near 40 for Kodiak, and in the 40s and near 50 for the southeast coast. Lows the following morning, mid-30s northern Panhandle, otherwise down to around 10, so getting a little cooler here now again for areas with the increasing clearing, a little bit drier conditions coming in. So back into the lower 20s for Cook Inlet, teens for the uh, areas west of the Alaska Range, and then back into the 20s toward the coast and anywhere from uh, 0 to 15 for the central northern part of the state. Highs for Saturday, 15 to 20 in the central interior and 10 to 15 up toward the, uh, well, from the northern valleys here out to the uh, north slope and mostly in the 40s for the southeast coast, upper 30s now for the Kodiak Island area, back down into the uh, 20s for much of south central Alaska, but the Kenai Peninsula anywhere from 30 to 35, near 40 for the Aleutians and uh, near 20 for St. Lawrence Island.